Do you feel sluggish, unfulfilled, unhealthy? Do you love animals? Are you rebelling against your parents? Do you need more drama in your life? If you answered yes to one or all of these questions, veganism might be for you. And just by clicking on this video, you've taken the first plunge to figure out what it takes to be a vegan. My name is Kelsey, and I'm gonna be your tour guide to walk you through the phases of veganism and let you know what exactly you should expect. People think it's easy that you can just start eating vegetables and all of a sudden you are this guru and hippie vegan. But sadly, that is not true. Scientifically speaking, there are eight distinct phases one must journey through in order to become a truly badass vegan. Phase one, inspiration. Scroll through your Instagram feed or your YouTube channel and identify some YouTubers you followed that have recently gone vegan. Be jealous at all those skinny bitches wearing t-shirts that say friends not food and eating raw green apple mango chia seed goji berry matcha Thai Coachella banana smoothies. You'll instantly feel more hipster. Phase two, reduction. Begin eliminating just a couple of things from your diet because you found out that you can't eat cheese as a vegan and you need to keep eating cheese. So you cut out burgers and you cut out hot dogs, basically all of the meats. Uh, you have chicken here or there, but mostly you are a full vegetarian with a couple of non-vegan items on the menu. Eventually, you will coin the phrase pizza vegan, which means you are a vegan 100% of the time, except for when you're drunk at 3 a.m. at the bars and you wanna eat a cold cheese pizza. Phase three, total destruction. Find really sad photos of baby chickens being thrown into grinders and cry yourself to sleep for the next three weeks. The phrase pizza vegan no longer exists now. Go 100% vegan overnight. Phase four, anger. Now this is the fun phase where you can start crazily yelling at everybody and throwing shit around the room like a hormonal teenager who just got her phone taken away. Get really upset when you see people eating meat. Yell at people when you see them eating meat. Cry for more effect. Gagging noises can also be very effective in proving your point. Go out to a fancy dinner with all of your family and cause a scene when the waiter accidentally puts Parmesan on your pasta and join an animal rights organization so you can get paid a little bit of money to force your opinion on others. Phase five, humiliation. This is a phase where everyone you know and love suddenly turns on you. Get ready for the nonstop grass eating jokes and listening to your redneck uncle tell you about how many deer he killed this season. Try to hold your cool though when Chad throws a chicken nugget at your face in McDonald's. This by far is the most difficult phase to endure, but just keep in mind that all of these people are just confused about your decision to go vegan and are jealous about your supreme cardiac health and your ability to not get early onset heart disease. Phase six, hopelessness. By now, you are starting to realize that the world is a very shitty and uncompassionate place. Everything you've grown up believing is now a lie. Stop and wonder why no one else is taking action against this terrible industry. Cry some more. Phase seven, hopefulness. Watch the video 101 Reasons to Go Vegan and gain hope in the truth that one person can make a difference. Start cooking sweet potato chili for your friends and family. Show them that vegetables aren't that gross, except for green beans. Meet more vegan friends and talk about vegan things together. Wipe your tears. Phase eight, empowerment. Start speaking up against veganism in an empowering and optimistic way. Start a club at your work or school and petition to make a difference in your community. Start a YouTube channel or Instagram account devoted to the humiliation you've received over the past few years of being a vegan. Cry again for no reason because you are a ball of emotion now. Guys, I'm learning. I've got my contacts in for no glare. I've got adequate lighting and I finally got my sound working because I don't know how to use audio. Shout out to my subscriber, Nick, for telling me that I need to get my shit together and my audio sounds like crap. You the real homie. And that's what I have for today. You're probably thinking this has nothing to do with interior design. And you know what, you're right. But I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. I do what I want. And what I wanted was to make something really stupid about being a vegan because I've been in quarantine for a really long time and I'm starting to lose it. This was good. I got all of my weird energy out. I feel a lot better now. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Insta because I need more friends. And you're wondering if I'm gonna pivot to vegan videos and not interior design videos and I say, I don't really know. So you're gonna have to stay tuned and find out. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I'm not even Italian. Anyways, see you next time. Bye. <coughs> Coronavirus. <coughs> sorry, I'm sorry.